Hi everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we will take a look at control statement. In this tutorial, we will explore if and else statement. So, we will describe where to use and what is the use of if and else statement. So, what is if and else statement? The if statement is the fundamental control statement that allows JavaScript to make decision. More precious, if and else statement allow us to choose conditional choices. You can use if and else statement where you want it to execute a statement on condition. Let me first show you the syntax of if and else statement. If statement has two forms. The first form is if. In the parenthesis, we specify expressions followed by the statement. Right? First, we just need to specify if keyword to start the control statement and then in the parenthesis specify expression. So what is expression? Expression is a condition, it may be true or false. In the expression, you just need to specify your condition which is either true or false. The same way used for second form also. But here we specify two statements for the if condition. So the second form is if in the parenthesis we specify expression followed by statement 1 then we specify else keyword followed by the second statement. Now in the second form we specify two statements for the if expressions. So the if statement will execute the first statement if the condition is equivalent to true otherwise the else keyword will execute the false statement. So if the expression is equal to false, then the second statement will execute. Or if the condition is equal to true, then the first statement will execute. Let's take an example of first and second form of the if statement. So in this example, I will show you how to greet people using program. So I will just say let time is equal to 9 and end this statement with semicolon. So we created a variable time here and specify 9 value to that variable. Then we create if statement and in the parenthesis we specify expression. So I will just specify time. The name of my variable is less than 12 followed by the statement and in the statement we specify console.log and print good morning. When you run this statement, you will get good morning on the console. In the if expression, we specify if time is less than 12, then we execute the good morning message on console. So the if statement will first check the condition in the expressions and return true if the time value is less than 12, otherwise it will return false. So if we just change the time value to 15. So the 15 means 3 pm then what is the result you will not get anything on the console because we did not specify any message for the false statement if you specify 15 to the time variable then the expression is equal to false so the condition is false so here we specify a second form of each statement where we just use else and specify our second statement. So we just wanted to add the else keyword here just after the statement and specify our second statement. So I will just say console.log and specify good afternoon message. Now when you execute this statement, you will get good afternoon on the console. Because the condition is equal to false, so the if statement will skip the first statement and execute false statement. We always specify false statement in the else block and true statement in the if block. If you wanted to specify more than one statement, then you can use a block statement, sometimes called compound statement. Using the compound statement, you can specify more than two statement in the block. Compound statement is just a series of statement enclosed in the curly braces that is treated by the JavaScript as a single unit. To insert more than one statement, specify curly braces 
So to specify a curly braces, just after the expression, we specify open curly braces and just before the else statement, we specify closing curly braces. Now in this curly braces, we specify statement. So I will just insert console.log and we specify a message welcome to daily tuition. So this compound statement will execute two statement. So it will print good morning and welcome to daily tuition on console. You can also make nested if and else statement using compound statement. So I will just say let time is equal to 9 and in the if expression I will specify time is less than 12 then I will just remove the welcome message and here I will say if and then specify a parenthesis and specify expression time is equal to 9 then I will add curly braces and in this curly braces if block I will say console.log and specify a message the time is to take your breakfast right so when you run this statement this will print two message on the console good morning and the time is to take your breakfast so when the second nested condition is equal to true then the message will print on the console if the nested condition is false then you will not get any message on the console so you can also put else statement in the nested if condition and you can also put your nested if condition in the else statement block also now i just wanted to show you how to create a ladder using the if and else statement so to create a ladder we'll just say if time is less than 12 then we print message good morning else we specify one more condition here so i will just say if in the parenthesis so time is less than 17 so the 17 means 5 pm and now using the curly braces we create a compound statement and specify console.log and print the good afternoon message and then we specify l statement and print good evening message so now when you execute this program you will get a different output on different situation so the if statement will first check the time is less than 12. If the statement is true, then the statement will execute good morning message on the console. Or if the statement is equal to false, then it will move to the else and check if time is less than 17. If the statement is true, then this will print good afternoon message on the console. If this statement is also false, then the else statement will execute it and print good evening on the console so this is what the ladder is all about so i hope you understand the if and else control statement in the next lecture we'll move forward comment me if you have any question i ask a question in the comment answering that question will help you to improve your knowledge that is all for now we will see you in the next lecture